welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold. In all honesty, I was planning on updating Silver today, but I still got more grinding to do on that run in order to get my team ready. Um, I could probably just focus on Pharaoh and, you know, go for a uh, one Pokemon run through the Elite Four, potentially. I'm not sure how well Pharaoh would be able to pull that off, considering, you know, it has access to moves like Fly, which really isn't a good combat move when you think about it. Sure, it gives you that turn of um, immunity, but it allows your opponent to switch into something else to screw you over, like a rock type or something. Um, sure, the Elite Four isn't going to do that, but still, it's not a move I'm very fond of for having on a Pokemon I'm going to use for battle. And I might wish I started with something else here, I'm not sure. I mean, sure, I imagine Jewel is basically going to shred Pidgeot in like two hits at most. I mean, seven levels might be enough to let survive one attack. Ah, uh, I thought quick attack, it can't outsmeed me, huh? Smeed? Speed, jeez. <laughs> I guess being up till 5 in the morning and falling asleep till about 9.30, um, still took it out on me. Didn't get any videos done, but I did work on grinding. So yeah, I did get some levels in silver, just not enough levels. Not enough for what I want to go for. And yeah, we're gonna have to use some healing items for this. There's just no getting around it. I don't have anything that can really drop Arcanine in one hit. Despite having a level 64 Smoochum, which honestly is the easiest Pokemon to level up on this team by far. Mostly because most of the Pokemon on the Elite Four are vulnerable to either Psychic or Ice Punch. It's kind of insane, really. Um. So yeah, the Ice Switch does very well against the Elite Four, and basically carries my team. And this is probably my best anti-Arcanine Pokemon here, since I can just, you know, throw out Psychic and try and blow it away. Oh, well, if I survive, I can try and take it out. I think I'll survive by the skin of my teeth. I mean, six levels might be enough to let me carry through this. Even with that, though, I'm still going to have to heal myself. Because Arcanine has extreme speed, so if I don't heal myself, he's just going to pop me in the face real fast and drop me. Heck, if extreme speed does enough damage, I still won't be able to go on the offensive. Gosh darn it. <sighs> so I need over half my health to pull this off. Ugh, this sucks. I may have to let myself get dropped and then, um, sacrifice two just to heal myself, do a revive and heal. After all, he's not gonna stop his relentless assault with extreme speed as long as he can pop me. Yeah, I know, called it. Okay. Well, I don't know if Sir is going to last long enough to matter, but whatever. First things first, we need to get a revive. Then we're going to have to switch over to Puffy, who picked up one level from uh, switching on Gengar on my last Elite Four training run. Well, great. This sucks. Now I'm gonna have to do more switching around to pull this off. This blows. Sad part is that might just drop Zerg right here and now. Oh, I'm still alive, if only just. I'll try. I'm not expecting him to stop using extreme speed anytime soon, though. Why stop if you know it works, right? Okay. Well, we know he's going with Flamethrower then. Which will definitely be devastating. Why couldn't his special defense have spelled last time? I suppose I could try exhausting extreme speed through healing myself, but... It 
it's a bit too risky for my liking. Or did he already do that? That's just why he's going for another flamethrower. Fascinating. Okay. So what's he gonna switch into? Alakazam, eh? Not a bad pick, I, I have to admit. I mean, I'm still gonna have to heal myself in order to counter it. After all, I don't have any other recovery options. And I know I can't drop this thing with just one ice punch. As much as I'd like to. <sighs> well, I felt it. Ah, setting up a reflex barrier, got ya. But I'm not going after your physical defenses, I'm going after your special defenses. I'm going for the finishing blow. Ah, yes, recover. Gosh darn it. It's not enough to really stop me, it's just delaying the inevitable. <sighs> you might as well attack me, man. This, this recover strategy will not save you. At all. Unless I switch over to a weaker move, which I'm not going to. I have no reason to. I got plenty of points still left on Ice Punch, and I'm going to abuse it. Okay. Time to get Jewel back out there. I need a Thunderbolt. <sighs> but yeah, I'm hoping I can start wrapping up Silver and Crystal here pretty soon. Though I may end up focusing on wiping out red and starting a new run in gold before that even happens. Um, I prefer that not to be the case, but, you know, trying to get everyone up to, like, level 40-ish in those runs is just taking a lot of time. Which I guess is to be expected. Especially since I'm using the experience share to help share out some of the experience, so... It's not helping matters when it comes to leveling up any one particular Pokémon quickly. That's what you argue, you know, it's the same result regardless since it's splitting it in half. I just don't feel like I'm making as much progress because, you know, I'm getting fewer level ups on one particular Pokemon. <sighs> I'd probably prefer the other games where leveling up is a bit faster. Because they introduce a lot more, um, expedient ways to do it. Because eventually they realize, yeah, leveling up is not the best part of this game. I mean, it isn't. Not by a long shot. No, Jewel, you're not allowed to evolve. And yeah, I skipped out on Thunder, because, you know, screw Thunder. I'd rather have a more accurate and reliable move, like T-Bolt. Thor's hammer is great, but if it reliably misses, then it's useless. Well, that does it for this episode, basically. I'm going to be hitting up Pallet Town, though, first. And thankfully I have Kenya, so, you know, I can just fly right there. All of you, I went about getting there the longest way possible. I should have went up on the D-pad. It would have taken me there, like, on the second try, I think. But I need permission to enter Mount Silver, after all. Uh, I pretty much wiped them all out at this point, right? Well, that's good. Well, next time we'll be going to Mount Silver and chasing down Red. But I mean, I'll do a couple more Elite Four runs because I want to get my, um, smooch them up in levels. Let's face it, the Ice Switch is going to need to be at least roughly on par with Pikachu in order to item farm on it for a bit. Well, I guess item farm is not the right term. Item spam on itself with, um, defense and special attacks and stuff like that. Basically, I'm gonna have to take a lot of drugs so I can then just wipe the entire team with one Pokemon. Till next time, then. See ya.